Hey, it's me again. Thank you for staying with us right here on your favorite breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. It's Thursday, and Thursdays are usually artsy. So today and right now, I have with me a very special guest. He's right here on my couch, and he has amazing work. I have none other than Victor Anyekan Akran. Now, he has features his works at notable art editions for obvious reasons, because he's so, so good. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you. Now, I love, I don't know if it's a texture of your art. I'm seeing a lot of blue, and it just makes it feel very warm and nice. So now, tell me about your art. Why art? What is it about art and painting that literally keeps you going? Yeah, first of all, I would say it's, a, it's actually passion. Okay. It's, uh, it's passion that drives it anyway. Because at, at, at times when you look at it, even despite the fact that sometimes there are some constraints mm -hmm. that come along producing, trying to get materials, trying to get which is quality, which is not yes, quality, yes. all those things. But, you know, all these things try to discourage me, but I still look at it that passion still drive. Even there are some times I have spaces where I don't work. I just look at it, I've not been doing anything. Mm -hmm. But because of that passion, I still feel like, no, 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 no. I'm desperate. I think one of my hard work was inspired by that drive. In fact, I had to tie to it burning desire. And oh, wow. That, that's the abstract you see. Sometimes, if you look at it, it's not figurative. So mm -hmm. you might just want to, it's thought provoking. You might want to ask, Absolutely. like, why, why, why these? All right. I'm actually looking forward <laughs> for that particular one. So now let's talk about the art pieces. Let's talk about the one closest to you now. I like what I'm seeing. Weirdly, from far, I thought she was wearing a headphone. No, no. <laughs> so now okay, tell me that's about what this it looks like. Piece. Okay. Anyway, I think this um, this idea of um, identity came to mind at some point. So I was trying to. It looks like I was scrambling Africa. Like I want to see some things mm -hmm. in Africa, just beyond my own space. I've been in Lagos for a very long time, and I see so many things about Lagos. Mm -hmm. But now this time around, I felt like okay, I need to just read. Then I. I look up uh, the Mossi tribe, the Mossi tribe mm -hmm. in Ethiopia. Uh -huh. Then I read it a little about them. About then them. it becomes very fascinating, and I noticed that was the oldest tribe in Ethiopia. It's around, I think the location is around Omo Valley. Mm -hmm. Then that was where the idea of um, making this uh, piece. I did some some series anyway, mm -hmm. but I have two of them here. So I did these, and this is is that intensity I saw. And that was what drives me to yeah. push this. And if you notice most of my artwork, you notice there is this, I, I'll still use the word intensity. Intensity, very true, because I saw one that flashed on the screen. It was a lady looking intently at the camera, and that actually caught my attention to why. What is it about intensity and you and, and what you do? No, I, will, I think this, is, this just come. it's just a natural, I just feel like there is always a connection in the highs. I think if you notice my work, you will notice that connection. You can you can read or it looks like you can communicate with mm -hmm. my subjects yeah. when you look at that connection in the eyes. And sometimes they are always intense because I literally focused Focus. on the eyes. I know that's where I send my message to my audience. Okay, so now right, right this one right here. There's not is it, this one is calm. It's calm. It's yeah. calm. So yeah. tell me about this piece. This piece I I actually, I had the model to just, I, I needed something that is more, because I know that most of them have been like, mm -hmm. I think it's the current situation around me that has yeah. been driving, it's, it's just yeah. more like force. <laughs> then I say this time around, I want something that is more subtle. Yeah. Then I came with this idea. All right, okay. So now what type of paint? Is this, is this oil on canvas? No, this is acrylic okay. on canvas. Oh, this is acrylic yes. on canvas. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now tell me about these two guys. Yeah, I do watercolor works as well. This is one. This is one part of uh, one medium that is. I think I will use the word sweetens me. Okay. You no, know, okay. whenever I want, I want to be happy. I just want to play around myself. Yeah. Then I go ahead to just make watercolor. Watercolor. I, I use the word play because I pick my watercolor and I want to play around with I want it. To play around with it. I love the so. fact of how you can mix water and color and literally get mm. a human face out of it. Now, let's talk about that one that's down there. So I noticed most of your your shots are usually um, uh, um, um, profiles. Portrait, portraits, yeah. right? Portraits. But we have an abstract one yeah. right down there. So tell me about that particular abstract piece. The green one. Yeah. Yeah, so tell me about that one. What What is the idea behind the image? This abstract piece, it, 
Anyway, it was after I finished, I noticed, because I looked at myself and I said, something made me did, do this. Mm -hmm. And I actually titled it Burning Desire. There, there was this drive. Now, at some point, I was incapacitated. Then I felt like, I have not done anything. I need to do something. Mm -hmm. Then there was no idea. Nothing was coming forth. Mm -hmm. Then I picked up my... The canvas was just blank. I was looking at a blank canvas, and yeah. I know something needs to be done. Mm -hmm. I, I need to produce something. Then I picked up my colors and uh, I looked at it. I just splashed one color on it, and then that was where the drives yeah. came. The came drive from. came, mm -hmm. and I start. Exactly. So what did yeah. we end up with? Did you give it a name when you were done? Uh, that, that's the name, Burning Desire. Burning Desire. Okay, okay, okay. So a lot of people say you can actually transfer emotions from in your head to a canvas. So would you say that is actually what happens? In fact, I think that's my Therapy. that's my line. Okay. Because most times it's the emo it's the feeling. Mm. If you notice some of um, the works, like the portraits you've seen so far, you notice that's why I use that word intense. They are always intense. And I uh, try to attribute it to the situation around me, wow. the kind of things I see, what is happening around people. And I notice, especially if you look at the situation of things right now in Nigeria, mm. There is this same pressure to you. That yeah. pressure, I see pressure, those pressures. Yes. And I, I try to relate those things up so into my portrait. Okay. Then you see those looks there. All right. Okay. So you don't even necessarily need to be painting what actually you're seeing, but whatever no, no, you decide no. to paint, you can also always translate it's, that. It's into what I feel. What you feel, you yeah. can translate that to paper. I think this is actually really, really brilliant work. So how long would you say you've been doing this for? How long have you been painting for? I've been painting, it's over 10 years. Over yeah. 10 years, and how would you say, is it lucrative, is it a lucrative source of income? It is lucrative. It is lucrative, yes. right yeah. here in Nigeria, or like you have more of international audience, because they it, seem to appreciate the arts more. They do, they do appreciate that. In fact, the truth is, if you have access to international collector, you know, you make more fun. <laughs> <laughs> the way you did your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. That actually makes yeah. a whole lot of sense. So now, what would you say is the biggest challenge you face in Nigeria as an artist? And how would you say, I mean, what would you say you would like to be easier when it comes to um, your pieces? And then probably like, I don't know, what, what would you say your biggest challenge is? Um, my, one of the biggest challenges um, is to break through into the market mm. and to break into the market. I think the art scene, it's not like the regular industry, like some other popular industry yeah. that's uh, the way it's thriving. Art is, I think I'll use the word art is not for everybody. Like art pieces are not for everybody. They are not this. Pop, they are not the popular commodity. I want yeah. to buy shirt. I want yeah, to buy clothes. Exactly. Everybody. Yes, no, yes. there are few people and these are people who actually appreciate art. I'm using the word appreciate because I know so many people like art, so many people love art. Some people, why? This is beautiful, I like it. Yeah. But the ability to value it, value it yes. might not be there. Yes. In fact, sometimes you, I see, when I move around, I notice in Lagos now, art is being appreciated like yes. in our environment. But I still see people deface this artwork. And these mm -hmm. are the same people that will tell you, I love art. I I love, but they go ahead, they pay bill on them. Yes. So it's, it looks like the value, yeah, the value is that the value that it yes. is not there? Yes, okay. So I think those are the challenges, Challenge. people to value. Value what, it yeah. more. Amazing. I think what you're doing is brilliant. I definitely would love to see some of your pieces and probably own one one day. Yeah.